Well, I'm sorry not to be there with you, but really pleased that you'll get to meet Eliana and that she'll be working with you for the next couple of days. Um, Rob asked me to share what I would have liked to have discussed with you in these first couple of days in Michigan. Uh, and there are four things come to mind. First is about our business model. Um, what we have found for years and continue to um, struggle with is that our model really isn't as intrinsically profitable as, say, a consulting model. We have the same variables as consultants that we can manage, which are utilization, how much we work, realization, what fees we charge, and, and leverage the relationship between senior people and junior people. We don't really have many other variables, and I guess compared to consulting, our realization is quite good. Our utilization at best can be, say, 50%, when in consulting, it would be between 70 and 110 um, percent. Uh, leverage is okay. So, and then we have also, I guess, different cost structure. We're very labor intensive and capital intensive, which is something that you wouldn't really want to do if you were inventing a business model. And I'm just curious about how others, also those others who have made a transition from a freestanding business like Matter to being part of a bigger business, as we all were in the past with CAP and EY. Um, <clears throat> and I'm curious what discoveries you've made about how to get the business model to work better. Um, second topic is about demographics. I suspect, I'm not there, but I suspect that many of you, like me, are, are male, pale, and stale. And uh, we're trying to, I guess we feel a bit ridiculous about that, and I certainly do. Um, and we're trying to do some things about it, and there's two areas where I would love to hear what you guys are doing, and one of those where we might be able to cooperate. Uh, one is just about young people. We make a fair investment in bringing young people in, um, both as employees of Matter, and so this is really a big chunk of their career, and of course as network people, um, but we really put a lot of emphasis on young people. And one thing that we used to do in the olden days, and that Philippe managed was this exchange program where uh, I don't remember how it worked exactly but that young people in one uh, ASC might be put on an event in another and then there was a way to bill for travel or I don't remember what it was but in any event the point was that young people should be exposed to a more varied diet of designs of facilitation and as people move between our various networks, that used to be the engine of innovation in our world, was that movement of knowledge workers, especially young knowledge workers, who would invent something or pick something up in one event, bring it to a different crowd of people a few weeks later, and then innovation, some would survive, some would die, but those that survived would ping and bounce through the network over time. And I think we were maybe a best practice in how to um, encourage and build on innovation. So question is uh, exchange program and who's in? To, who's in? Um, and maybe we ask advice from Philippe who, who built one in the olden days. Um, the second aspect of our demographics is just our lack of diversity, not just age, but in other ways too. And first how that has an impact on how welcome or not we are in different environments. But much more importantly, our, our monoculture, it's not really a monoculture, but it, it almost is how that affects our design and our facilitation and what we lose because of our, the, let's say, the lack of breadth in our experience and, and the relative lack of diversity. This is what I see in my little corner of the world, and I, I don't know how that is in yours, but I'd love to hear about that and how you've managed that. We've been making an effort with mixed results, but some results, to um, not all be the same. Um, third, is about methodology and just, you know, the, that's why I guess people, one of the reasons, I guess it's mainly the people, but one of the reasons people show up in Michigan this week is to get ideas. What's, what, what have you dreamed up recently? The last time we all got together that I was there was in Nashville a long time ago. And I, my, I had a lot of takeaways, but certainly the biggest was patches and nodes that I had not heard about before. And now it's become so central to our design approach. Um, and we, we pick up other methodological tools, but not that many. I mean, from, from Greg Sarikoff, we picked up uh, parkour, but then adapted it. He would not recognize what we do with it. But we adapted to a world of patches and nodes, and it's become pretty important in the way we deliver. 
But I'm sure there's a million new ideas out there that we are not aware of, largely because of that lack of movement between networks. And so I'm, I'm counting on Eliana to pick your brains and for you to pick hers and uh, so that she brings back um, what's at the cutting edge. And then lastly is really just about the magic of what we do and how we can keep it going. And, and we um, all make compromises because of budget, because of availability. And sometimes we don't have the, the whole crew that we would want. We don't have all of the time we need to think these things through. But we nevertheless lose an opportunity to create something really extraordinary and magical and unexpected uh, for our participants as much as for ourselves. And we occasionally do, but it used to be sort of an expectation, a mutual expectation amongst us that we would raise the bar every time. And we, we do try to frequently. We don't try to every time. Um, and I'd, I'd love to hear how you, in those cases where you do, and I suspect they're maybe more frequent than for us, but how you do keep the magic alive when, um, when under pressure and, and uh, how you keep it new. So again, sorry I'm not with you, but I'm with you in spirit. And, um, and I'm glad that uh, you're welcoming Eliana and eager to hear from her uh, and from others of you, if you like, about the time together in Michigan. Have a great session.